Hey guys, this is Wise back with another video on the channel. The most requested video that I received uh, recently is test JetBrains product. JetBrains has a great IDEs like WebStorm, IntelliJ, PyCharm for Python, PHP Strong for PHP, and there's other tools they offer as well. I'm going to be testing IntelliJ. This is going to be interesting. I know a lot of people use JetBrains product and this video is going to tell you whether you should switch to this ARM-based MacBook Air or not yet when you're using IntelliJ. I believe, I uh, read the blog, they, they mentioned that the JetBrains product will work under Rosetta, but let's find out if that's true. The way I'm going to install IntelliJ and JetBrains product, I'm going to use this toolbox app. So let's go there and I'm going to download. So We are going to install IntelliJ. Both IntelliJ and Python install. If I go to terminal and I'll see there is no Java install. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I'll just let IntelliJ worry about that. So I'm going to just evaluate for free for 30 days. So let's just evaluate. It's running under Rosetta 2. I just confirmed that. All right. So we got IntelliJ. So I'll just do a new project. I clicked on it and it took a bit of time to actually give me this window. It says no uh, JDK. So I'll just let IntelliJ worry about JDK. So it's downloading JDK list now. And let's see if I'm able to get Oracle open JDK 15. And yeah, that should be okay. I'll just download this. Okay, so JDK has installed. I'm going to create a simple Java project. And let's just create a command line application. Click next. And I'm just going to say test one. It's finished. And it's creating a project. Okay, so it seems like it's working. So I'm gonna do system. Can I get a suggestion? No, yes. System dot out. Suggestion, no, because it, it is indexing JDK, open JDK 15. But this indexing uh, functionality takes a lot of CPU resources. If it was a MacBook Pro 16 inch, it would just start its fan like a jet engine and I could like, you know, it couldn't work because it's too noisy. And now this is uh, indexing and I don't see any, any, any problem here. It's just so cool that this laptop is so cool. That's pretty impressive. So we'll do system out. Please give me a suggestion. I kind of forgot the Java, so print LN, I'll just say, running java on apple silicon okay it needs probably double codes there all right that should be good let's go and click on this play button and see if we get to see running java on apple silicon on terminal so it's building it did build wow and there we go running java on apple silicon that means yes you can run java using IntelliJ, no problem. If you have an IntelliJ project, that should work. I'm not gonna say every single project will work because you might have some dependency which are not compatible with ARM um, or completely not really happy with Rosetta. Open WebStorm. I'm gonna create a couple of projects uh, and I'm pretty sure I have a node installed. Yes. So I got a node installed. I'm gonna say do not import anything and start web strong evaluate for free let's evaluate and you can see it, it's not slow it's it's actually quite fast and well if you have a fresh macbook pro with intel intel processor and you install these softwares they'll just you know perform the same way 
but I'm finding no lag, no problems. So let's create a new project. I'm gonna go and create Vue.js, create that project. I'm not a Vue developer, but I'll just create it. I'll use WebStorm to actually run it. So now installing all the dependencies. So view project is created. I'm gonna click on this play button and let's see if that starts the development server. Okay, I can access development server and there you go. The view is running. Now I can go and create, you know, a lot of projects, but it seems like it, it's gonna work. It, it, it is working as long as the node is concerned. <laughs>